I'm Mark Spencer, an undersea diver and photographer who learned of a remarkable incident involving a whale shark and three fishermen known to a friend of mine. The whole event was captured with a video camera. It was March 2003 and the three men were in a private boat far out to sea off the town of Port Kembla, New South Wales, Australia, not far south of Sydney. A whale shark, uncommon this far south on the east coast of Australia, swam right up to the stern of the boat and in no uncertain terms made it clear it wanted something from the humans. A life-saving service, please. The boat owner, Joe, fortunately and perhaps wisely had a diving mask aboard his boat. After entering the water, he soon noticed a thick rope wrapped around the body of the shark, cutting into its flesh. Whether the shark was deliberately lassoed, or it was an accidental entanglement with commercial fishing apparatus, is not known. Joe takes a filleting knife and a length of rope tied to his boat for security. Joe essentially kneels on the back of a very compliant shark. Strategically, it seemed, positioned just under the surface so Joe can get his head out of the water to breathe. He then spends some seven or more minutes trying to cut through the thick rope. A sharper knife was deemed necessary, so Joe swims back to the boat for another knife. In that period, the shark takes a swim past the boat where we can clearly see the animal's predicament. It returns to the back of the boat and Joe continues his efforts to cut through the rope. He does it and it's taken nearly 20 minutes to do so. Perhaps sensing the job accomplished, the shark moves slowly past the boat, but Joe notices the rope still adhering to damaged flesh. He swims quickly to the shark and pulls the rope completely away from the fish. A majestic and ancient leviathan of the deep, facing an almost certain demise, sought salvation from three caring humans. My question is, how did it know?